Mixing up the medicine. Oh, wow. It's incredibly more flickable than the 1K is. I'm gonna have to, it's gonna take me a minute to get used to this bike like I was with the uh, 1K. I hope, I hope they'll dyno my shit today. I didn't even ask. Where's fucking neutral on this thing? There it is. Where's neutral on this thing? I haven't been here since they dynoed the CBR 1K. So I'm interested to see what this thing puts down. It's got an ECU flash and some, some other shit. So we'll find out. What's up, guys? Yeah, got rid of the 1K. What's going on, man? So I was wondering to see if you guys had a chance to dyno my uh, ZX10 that I just got. I want to see what it's putting down. I just, uh, actually, I just got it from WoW. And they're like, if you take it over to Marietta Motorsports, they'll dyno it. I'm like, oh, I know Marietta Motorsports. <laughs> you know, it's funny that you ask. Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> Ended up just, just like, hey, I had a better op opportunity to get this, so. Dog, is this your bike? <laughs> I hate the green though. I gotta get rid of the green. Don't like the green? I hate Kawasaki green. <laughs> I hate I hate Kawasaki green. <laughs> I think it's gonna be white or something, I don't know. Take it down. <laughs> Kick it over. <laughs> Just like fuck this. <laughs> Kick it over. <laughs> I'm really funny about colors, man. I don't know. I've ridden nothing but Hondas for the past six years. So I'm nervous about yeah. not having a Honda. Don't know anything about Kawasaki other than the fact that when I was a kid, everyone and their mom had a ninja. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It says it says Suzuki, but I'm pretty sure it's a ninja. <laughs> hey, can I have this? Can I have a tire? Thing is like instant start too. I got a man. I love Marietta Motorsports here. They've done all the tuning and shit on my bikes and well, lately anyway. Uh, let's see, I can't believe how fucking healthy this bike is. It put down 170 at the wheel. Well, I think I think the stock ZX10s are putting down about 160, and of course the internet's gonna tell me this, that, and the other about it, but. Um, I gotta say, I'm pleasantly surprised with the amount of power this bike's putting down. Not even upset a little bit about it. Oh well, well you know how this goes, fuck it. Hashtag YOLO. I wanna say I just made the wrong turn because I need to be way over there and I'm not way over there. I'm gonna have to really figure out where the money wheelie gear is on this thing. There it is. Feels like I'm betraying my brand, you know? Now I gotta go home and work on the Harley. Well, I gotta, I gotta rent a car first. Jesus Christ, man. So, put down approximately, I put down like almost exactly 10 more horsepower to the rear wheel than I did on the CBR, which is pretty good. They weigh very similar, like the weight is very similar, so I mean, there wasn't any torque figures to go along with that, but um, because the, didn't hook it up to the ECU or some shit. I don't know. I don't know how tuning works. <laughs> Assuming that the torque figures are probably comparable to the horsepower figures and just obviously a little bit less because torque on sport bikes is usually less. It, it is quick. It is not slow by any sense of that word. And I learned, um, and you guys can yell at me because I, I don't know anything about Kawasaki's or traction control or wheelie control or how any of this works, but um, 
This has power selector mode. It's got F, M, and L, so fuck my life. I figured out that F means full, M is medium, and L is low. So uh, you, you can just adjust it for, I guess, different reasons. If you don't want all your power for whatever reason, you know, and you didn't feel like buying a 600, then you could have just bought this. It seems like a permanent feature to a, a temporary solution. It's like the same people who buy 250s and then sell them two months later. It feels like way more refined than the CBR. It just, uh, the CBR felt like way more savage. Like, dude, what are you doing, man? Go fat. Kawasaki rider. God, I'm a Kawasaki rider now. I got a ZX-10R, a uh, Honda Magna, and a Harley Davidson. I'm afraid to try to do a wheelie just because of how cold the... Yeah, that gripped. It'll, it'll grip. That's cool. Not to figure out how to wheelie in this thing. I'm gonna take it easy, just because it's a completely different bike. I mean, this right here, though. Oh no, 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 no. That's really loose. I gotta be careful with that. I gotta figure out how, how do you tighten up these O'Hillens? Oh, O'Hillens? Is that how you pronounce it? How do you tighten this shit up? I need this to to be way less loose than that. I do not do well with loose bikes. I like my bikes nice and tight. I want it tighter than a nun's ass. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm just, I, I just got this. I'm feeling it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate you, bro. That's cool. How nice of him. That's terrifying as fuck. <laughs> okay, it'll, it'll get up. All right. So there's no wheelie control. It's just the RPM is weird on this thing. Or maybe there's wheelie control. I just don't know about it. I have to apologize for my ignorance. I am not a Kawasaki rider. Clutch feels so good on this bike. Like it's nothing, it's butter. It's a nice bike, man. I'm pretty stoked about this. Green's going though. Ha <laughs> ha, butt hurt. <laughs> oh yeah. My CBR is for sale up there. I don't know how much they want for it yet. Um, but they're gonna, they just did a full inspection on it. They're gonna do a quick run over, you know, oil change, brake line change, stuff like that, just to make sure it's 100% ready to go. So that, when, um, if anybody buys that bike, I told them I'd come down and hang out, give away a t-shirt, this, that, and the other, sign the bike, you know. So uh, if anybody wants it, all the information for WOW is in the description. So if you, if you wanna go buy that, it's all you, dude. You know, I don't like stickers on my bikes. I've made, I, I dislike stickers greatly. But I think a, uh, I think a cow is sexy sticker or a uh, sex juice sticker is by a Baker X dickhead. I think that's a necessity. Come on, man, what are you doing? What? I mean, I know I'm being an asshole, but make up your mind about it. A 944, are you serious? Yo, what's up, 944? These are the old Porsches and this one's a little ragged. Hey, one on the window. <laughs> Looks good. Looks nice. I like it. I like I like the Porsche 944s. They're uh, a little rough, but man, that's pretty cool. I like them. He could roll out his window to tell me though. <laughs> I was gonna ask him what year it was because uh, those things have very specific years. Was it was it the 944s or the 948s? Sweet hat, dude. It looked like a, a little mushroom, a little Goomba from from How I Met Your Mario. Are you fucking kidding me? What are you, what are you doing, you ignorant bitch? I need to rent a car, so I'm stopping by here to uh, schedule a rental. Ooh, a little bit of, a little bit of dip. I need to go down to Brunswick for Christmas, and I'm bringing my dog with me too. I'm not gonna put him in the Corvette just because. So I need to set a car rental. Oh, righty then. So I got a car rented. It's gonna be hell of expensive, of course. It always is. I didn't rent a truck this time because I don't need a truck. But if you guys recall, dude, driving a, I rented a truck down to Texas for the um, Texas meetup, and that cost me 500 bucks. And to rent a car here for a week, since it's over the holidays, just a regular car, like a Corolla, cost me about 500 bucks. They're like, that's if you keep the coverage on it. You want any coverage? I was like. Heck no, I don't want any coverage. YOLO. So if I total the car, I'll be out a lot of money. So I'm just gonna try not to do that. I'm gonna try to do that, try not to do that really hard, you know? 
Yeah, I'm starting. This bike is starting to grow on me. I like the color too. Ah, see, I don't like the color, but the color is starting to grow on me a little bit. You know, gotta keep that stuff quiet. Don't want it to grow on me, and me I'll be like, oh look, the green, and now I gotta be a Power Ranger and get green stuff to match. I look like the Hulk's left testicle. So, what do you guys think? I'm a cowie loser now. I'm just absolutely overjoyed though with Wild Motorcycle Sports. They have worked with me so much on this bike, and they, <laughs> their prices and inventory are absolutely insane. I can't believe how much bikes they have. I just, I just kept going. They're like, yeah, we got more outside. I'm like, what are you talking about? Why? So if you want a bike, dude, they got it. Harleys, Triumphs, Hondas, Cowies, Suzukis. I mean, you name it, they've got it. I like the RPM gauge. I thought I was gonna hate that. It looks stupid, but I like it. So basically, um, there's an event coming up at the uh, American Motorcycle Show. I will be at their booth with them there. You know, signing t-shirts, giving stuff away, uh, hanging out, being a dickhead, you know, the usual stuff that I do. Um, and as it gets a little bit closer, I'll start talking a little bit more about that. So um, if you're coming out to the American Motorcycle Show in uh, here in Kennesaw, Ackworth, Marietta area, all that, wherever that's at, um, at the Cobb Center thing, you know, it's open to the public. So come by and hang out with me and we'll do shots. I don't know, unless you're under 21 and then I'll do shots and you can watch me do shots and I'm gonna try to get home and do one more Harley video before I leave for um, Brunswick and leave you guys with at least a little bit of content over the holidays some of you guys don't know but I've been uploading videos every day for the past 25 days or for the past like 20 something days if you if you feel like you've missed some content there's videos for every day for the past 20 days uh, the playlist is called hashtag V duck hey I have one of those Except not in yellow, thank God. I got mine in gray, the fastest color. <laughs>